Let's go ahead and learn about double digit division and we're gonna use multiples of 10 for our divisor. Here we're gonna go ahead and look at this type of problem here where we have 328 divided by 20. 20 is our divisor, it's two digits, double digits, that's why we call it double digit division. Our division family will help us when we're facing a division problem. Dad, mom, sister, brother, cat. And this stands for divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and check. Our steps with that division process. So our first step is to use the 20 and divide. And so we try to divide 3 by 20, 3 divided by 20. Since we can't do that, we go ahead and go to the next digit in that dividend there. And the next digit is the 2, put together with the 3, is 32. 32 divided by 20 is 1. Because 1 times 20 is 20, and 32 minus 20 is 2. At that point, we bring down the 8, and we go back to our division process again, where we have 28 divided by 20. 28 divided by 20 is 1. 1 times 20 is 20, and 28 minus 20 is 8. If I could divide 8 again, I would divide it by 20. That's why our answer is 11 and 8 twentieths. Which would reduce down to 11 and, let's see, divided by 4, divided by 4, 2 fifths. We could also end up writing that as, let's see, what else could we write that as? 11.4. If we use our mental math there, we're using our mental math of 1 fifth is 0.2. In this problem, we have 870 divided by 30. And if we look at 870 divided by 30, we're dividing by 30. 30 cannot go into 8. However, 30 can go into 87. 87 divided by 30, this is 87 tens divided by 30, is 2 tens. 2 times 30 is 60, is 60. And then 87 minus 60 is 27. At that point, I bring down the 3, and 273 divided by 30 is 9 because 9 times 30 is 270. 273 minus 270 is 3. So our remainder would be 3. We're not going to use remainders though. And then so we have 29 and 3 thirtieths, which simplifies down to 29 and 1 tenth, which does equal 29 Point one as a decimal as well. It's your turn. We have 892 divided by 50. Please hit pause. You're to find that answer for 892 divided by 50. We start with the hundreds place and with the 8. Can we divide 8 hundreds by 50? No, we can't. At that point, we look at 89 tens. 89 tens divided by 50 is 1. And that's why the 1 goes directly above the 9. 1 times 50 is 50. 89 minus 50 is 49. And I bring down the 2. 492 divided by 50. That's closest to 9 because 9 times 50 is 450. 492 minus 450 is 42. So our remainder is 42. 42 what? 42 fiftieths. I would have accepted that as an answer, except it's not in the simplest form. 9 and 21 25ths would have been in simplest form. 19 and 42 fiftieths does equal 19 and 84 hundredths which equals 19.84 as a decimal number. In some instances, we'll not be able to get a decimal number, in which case 
it is perfectly acceptable for you to go ahead and just express that as a mixed number in simplest form. As that dividend, the number that we're dividing gets bigger and gets larger, we're still following the same steps. And then so we look at this here and we go, can 70 go into 5? No. Can 70 go into 57? No. Can 70 go into 572? The answer is yes. So we concentrate on the 7 here and the 57 here. And the 57 here. Because that's 57 tens. How many times can 7 go into 57? And then so we look at that and we look at that and we say 8 because 8 times 7 is 56 tens, which is worth 560. 572 minus 560 is 12. And we bring down the 3. 123 divided by 70 is just 1, because 1 times 70 is 70, and 123 minus 70 is 53. At that point, our remainder is 53, and since 53 is a prime number, we can just leave it as 53 70 Because 70 is not divisible by 53. 81 and 53 70 is our answer then. Or if we were, if we were able to use remainders, we would say 81 remainder 53. 5723 divided by 70 is 81 remainder 53. In this problem, I have 9,256 divided by 20. And so I ask myself, 20 going into 9. Nope, can't do that. So I look at 92 divided by 20. 92 divided by 20 is 4, because 4 times 20 is 80. 92 minus 80 is 12, and I bring down the 5. 125 divided by 20? Concentrating on the 2 and the 12, that would be 12 divided by 2, that's 6, because 6 times 20 is 120. 125 minus 120 is 5, and I bring down the 6. 56 divided by 20, and again, now I'm concentrating on the 5 and the tens place here. 5 tens divided by 2 tens is 2 tens. I'm sorry, is 2, because 2 times 20 is 40. And 56 minus 40 is 16. 16 what? If I could divide the 16, I'd divide it by 20. That's not in simplest form, so if I was to express this answer as a mixed number, it would be 462 and 4 fifths. I recognize 4 fifths is that I could write it as a decimal, and it would be 462.8. If I really could write a remainder, I don't know. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It depends on what you see there as an answer and depends on what instructions you're given. It would be 462 with the remainder of 16. 9,256 divided by 20, 462, remainder 16. Or you could say 462.8 or 462 and 8 tenths. All right, let's go ahead and review. Let's go ahead and review. What number did I just write? Read it. What is this? Vocabulary word, this is the dividend. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you a double digit divisor. Why did I call it a double digit divisor? Right, because it has two digits. What's the first thing that we're going to try to do? Right, we try to divide the 9 by the 30. Can we do that? Oh, no, we can't. So we work with the 97. 97 divided by 30. What is 97 divided by 30? Where do we write that? Did you say over the 7? Because 3 times 30 is 90. So when we're working with this division problem, again, what we want to do is we want to follow those same steps that if, as, as, as if we had a single digit. 
divisor. What do we do next? Bring down that 2. After we bring down a number, we go back to that division step. What are we dividing by again? 30. So what do we put here? Over the 2. Another 2, because 2 times 30 is 60. I subtract again, and I get 12. Am I done? Nope. I still have another place here in my quotient, in my answer to that division problem. And I still had a number, number to bring down. 123 divided by 30 is 4, because 4 times 30 is 120, and 123 minus 120 is 3. Now if I could, I'd say remainder 3. We've also been learning that if we could divide that 3, we would divide it by 30. 324 and 3 thirtieths. We also learned how to divide by a decimal number. And then so if we were dividing by a decimal number, we could have put point 0 here, brought down the 0 here, and gone 30 divided by 30 is 1. And that decimal point coming straight up, 324.1 and 1 tenth. So what I would accept it as well. Really, you want to express this back into what? Simplest form. So that's a review about how it is that we're going to approach to divide these larger numbers. And it was really, really nice of me to go ahead and give you multiples of 10, like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 to start off with. And that's how it is that we're going to learn this so that we can apply it when we have different divisors, like 27 or 63.